hit a basket here, hit a basket there. We believe we could have won. He didn't believe him, but he said, you know what? I'm going to go back and look at the tape, and I think those guys ended up being right. All right, so right now, if you're the Aztecs, what do you want to do? You want to get the ball to one of your two good shooters, Tapley or Rayhan, or a dump into Shelton. Playing through Shelton's not a bad idea. He's got 15 assists for the last five games, so he's a good passing post. Tapley a three out of the timeout. Perfect execution by San Diego State. Great job by San Diego State. Great play out of the timeout by Coach Fisher. Showing that those 400 odd wins are not just by happenstance. They are designed. Tapley has 10 in the game. Washington hit a couple of threes in the first half. Three seconds to shoot. Here's Washington off balance. And that's no good. A shot clock violation. And on cue, he hits the basket. He's been around the program a long, long time. Loaded by Cruz, no good. Put back is up and in by Larry Nash Jr. And again, nobody there for the Wyoming miss. Waddell is taking home from the team. And taking it home there. Here's Tapley. He got three on a backdoor cut. Martinez couldn't make his third shot in a row. There's an offensive rebound. Two of them for Leonard Washington. And it fosters that on this squad. And he's a very good guy to boot. And there's Thames with five seconds on the shot clock. And now the Aztecs are starting to pull away. And you can sense that Wyoming doesn't quite have the energy it had to keep them close in the first half. If you are a little undermanned as Wyoming is, the difficult thing is you have to picture perfect to beat a top 20 team. And that's what they're playing here. Even though they're at home, they're playing one of the better teams in America. Shelton tried to draw the charge there. No call. And Leonard Washington gets the bucket. Washington had nine points in the first half. Not many here in the second. And there's a lot of contact off that minutes remaining. Marco Cruz comes up short. Franklin. This is Jamal Franklin. And he's always looking to force the situation. Sometimes he has to understand where it's important not to just to push it, but to pull it back. Use a little clock here, 13 point lead. You're not playing against the clock yet, but you're getting close to that juncture. They just improved players in the conference. And I think it started the midpoint of last year. Still has a funky looking jumper. <laughs> but it's, it's gotten better, especially the free throw line. Rebound tapped out to Cruz. A lot of black jerseys waiting for him. And here's J.D. Luster. Coming up on five minutes remaining. Luster. Got a wild shot. And again, there's nobody under the basket. For and he left to go take the head coaching job at Clemson. And there were some folks here thinking, hey, you know, you build us up and then you, you take off. And when the, his name surfaced as the new head coach here last spring, some folks still remember what had happened back in the 90s. Alluria. Mark is with him at San Diego State. There's contact off the miss, and that's another foul that's going to go against the act. Always been ranked. <laughs> and I don't mean they're a ranked team. Rather, they're a ranked team because they're an exceptional team. 24 out of the last 31 weeks, the Aztecs have been in the top 25. Well, Final five seconds of the shot clock. Thames misses. Rebound to Cruz. Ahead to Martinez. And it's taken away from him by Xavier Thames. It's the clock not against the Cowboys. Cruz, a fadeaway three, no good. And three Aztecs again around the defensive glass. The prove teams were wet. No worth watching the horse clock. How about Timmy Shelton? Worked his way. His son Mark is with him at San Diego State. There's contact off the miss, and that's another foul that's going to go against the act. Always been ranked. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean they're a ranked team. Rather, they're a ranked team because they're an exceptional team. 24 out of the last 31 weeks, the Aztecs have been in the top 25. Well, and their only losses are not bad losses. You lose in a close game at Baylor that's a top 10 team, and you lose in the last second shot to Creighton, who's a top 25 team. Final five seconds of the shot clock. Thames misses. Rebound to Cruz. Ahead to Martinez. 
And it's taken away from him by Xavier Thames. Got to protect the ball there. Another foolish pass. Understand, they're not out of the whack. Well, Pac-12 is right now. They are out of the Mountain West Conference. Again, just one chance at it offensively. They are now competing against the teams of the West. Well worth watching the horse How about Timmy Shelton? Worked his way out of a double team and scored another layup. The San Diego State is looking to improve its win streak to 11. Its overall record to 18 and 2 this year. And Washington had those shots falling in the first half. Is where Coach Shiat would like to have it. The opposing teams only scored 52 points, but unfortunately, they've only scored 35. Washington bumped up. Well, he would be nice to have to give J.D. Luster a little bit of break, and we saw how significant that is when Luster's off the floor, how much trouble the Cowboys had. He's trying to move that ball around. There's Larry Nance Jr. with another rebound. Martinez with a three, and Larry Scheidt uses his final timeout. San Diego State, ranked 12th in the country, atop the Mountain West Conference standings, should beat Wyoming. But for all they had to, that they had to overcome to get this victory, I think that they're going to look back and say, this was a real come-together moment for our squad. Well, it's a team that likes each other. The players, you know, they get along well. And they've what they've done in the last few years is make basketball relevant on Montezuma Mesa. It's the hottest ticket in San Diego. The heck with the Chargers. And the show is one of the best student sections uh, you're going to find anywhere. And they're going to be cheering on the Mesa tonight because San Diego State has just picked up a 52-42 win over Wyoming. San Diego State and Steve Fisher improves to 18-2 on the year. 4-0 in Mountain West Conference play. Congratulations to Steve Fisher for winning his 250th game in his 13th season as the head coach at San Diego State. For the Wyoming Cowboys, they fall to 16-4. Still very respectable this year. Still very dangerous. 2-2 two two now in conference play. Just the second home loss of the season for Wyoming, who will take on Boise State next Saturday and then travel to TCU in their next two games. Tim Shelton and his teammates will be back here on the front range on Saturday to take on Colorado State, and they'll take on Boise State on the first day of February. So congrats. It has been for the Aztecs, for all the struggles that people thought they were going to have, minus DJ Gay, minus Malcolm Thomas, minus Kawhi Leonard, Couple guys doing fairly well in the NBA, and here they are with a new point guard and Xavier Thames and Tim Shelton with all his injuries taking over the leadership. They get the victory and have 18 wins and 20 tries this year. Let's check in with Coach Bullwinkle with another pretty good coach, Steve Fisher. Steve, somewhat circuitous route to get to Laramie today. We did that, but we had one pretty good route on the court when we got here. I had a feeling that you might have what been even 20 minutes late, and they didn't play quite as well the first half. But boy, you kicked it in gear in the second half we played really hard both halves I thought our defense was really effective uh, Wyoming's good they guard hard they're very tough to score on and run your sets and uh, uh, when you guard the way both teams did at times it will look ugly but we uh, we uh, we've got a good team we compete hard small ball yeah we've gone to that since the league has started we went with Jamal as our small you know as our second big guy and we're a hard team to guard we give up way too many offensive rebounds, but uh, uh, we uh, that's our best lineup right now. Good luck when you come back to the front range on Saturday. Thank you very much. See you, Steve. 52-42, the final score. Jamal Franklin, 12 points and 11 rebounds to lead the Aztecs. Special